We've been discussing the application of light sheet microscopy to image fluorescently labeled and cleared tissues. In the last few years, the application of tissue clearing and molecular labeling approaches, such as fluorescent proteins and fluorescent immunolabeling, have dramatically increased. While researchers have been able to render tissues transparent and stain them, we get a considerable amount of questions about tissue imaging and how to obtain 3D renderings from tissues. Of the different types of 3D imaging modalities, I will be giving a brief introduction to light sheet microscopy today. All 3D imaging modalities and tissue clearing techniques have their limitations, whereas light sheet microscopy is best utilized for whole organ imaging as it can be rapidly used to render large volumes of tissue at low resolution with minimal photo bleaching. However, the resolution on light sheet microscopy is limited. The concept of the light sheet microscope is very old, dating back over 100 years to Seidentoff and Sigmoidy. However, it was not until 1993 that Voidel paired light sheet microscopy with fluorescent labeling. To understand how light sheet microscopy works, it's important to understand why traditional microscopy does not work for imaging whole cleared and labeled tissues. If you were to take a cleared and fluorescently labeled mouse brain and place it on an upright microscope, the light source will excite the fluorophores throughout the entire depth of the tissue. This will result in a bright and blurry image where a signal well outside of your objective's focal plane severely alters your image. The way a light sheet microscope works is by switching from an inverted or upright diffuse light source to a laser light source that is mounted orthogonally to the objective. Using cylindrical shaping lenses, the laser light sheet is transformed into an ultra-thin sheet of light that is, for example, 10 millimeters wide by 5 microns thick. Instead of illuminating an entire depth of the tissue, this approach only illuminates an ultra-thin sheet of the cleared and fluorescently labeled tissue that is in the same plane as the imaging objective's focal plane. Therefore, the objective only captures the emission of fluorophores in this thin light sheet. By then moving the sample through the light sheet and capturing images as the tissue is moved, a Z-stack of images can be acquired from the entire depth of the tissue. This process can be clearly seen here, where a whole mouse spring clear the visical histo is imaged for autofluorescence using an ultra microscope from La Vision. The streaking in the tissue is caused by refractive index mismatches in the mounting solution that cause optical aberrations. The resolution of light sheet imaging can be improved by using higher numerical aperture objectives. However, improving the resolution of imaging by a factor of two will result in eight times slower scans and eight times more information being acquired from tissues. For very small reasons of interest and higher resolutions, we would suggest using confocal microscopy instead. Currently, there are only a handful of commercially available light sheet microscope devices, including the Zeiss C1 and the Law Vision Ultra Microscope 2. While these devices might be available at a location nearby, there are some considerations to be taken into account before you start using one or buy your own. The first is whether or not the instrument is compatible with solvents. Many light sheet setups, such as the Z1, use water dipping objectives, whereas immersion in the solvent can damage the objectives. The ultra microscope has a lens cover that allows it to be used directly with solvents, whereas the open spin device and Z1 require that the sample is placed in a special cuvette in the imaging container. This is important as some of the best clearing techniques are solvent based. The second consideration is how often you'll be using the light sheet and what features you need. The Zeiss C1 is a top of the line device for light sheet imaging in general, but has numerous features that you do not need if you're only interested in imaging cleared tissues. Because of the high cost of commercially available devices, researchers have developed DIY light sheet microscopes that can be built for as little as $500 and generate 3D renderings of fluorescently labeled cleared tissues. One of these projects is the Open Spin Project, which is a collaboration effort to build light sheet microscopes. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to us at info at Thank you.